Hi, this is Modular 8 with uh, Brian Kirby. Um, he just made a great new module here in Portland called the Noise Sorcerer. Tell us about the Noise Sorcerer. So it's real simple. All the sound is generated by this 5823 tube. And you have one knob, which affects the way it behaves. You have CV over that knob, and out comes the pretty sounds. Uh, if you put a different tube in there, it's going to be a completely different sound. So the, the module is the tube. And it's it's all generated by the tube. There's nothing out there like it. There's other ones that are there's other modules out there that there's a solid state noise amplified by a tube, but everything you hear is coming from the tube, and that's as simple as it is. There's no high power requirements needed. You can put it in any Euro rack case and not have a problem. Average draw is about 50 milliamps of positive negative 12, and it's pretty easy to just plug and go. And what kind of tube do you have in there right now? Uh, it's 5823. It's made by Telefunken. Telefunken. I tried quite a few, and Telefunken was the one that was clear, clear winner for noise, oscillation. Everything that I was going for was generated by that one, and they're really hard to find. I found a few more, so production's going to be pretty limited. How many of these Telefunken tube noise sorcerers do you estimate you have, or are you going to be able to produce? A few dozen. A few dozen. Yeah. Cool. And you're, so you're going to sell them directly and also through Modular 8? Right. So Excellent. direct, modular eight, any other retailers who want to pick them up. Yep. And when they're gone, that's it. It's a rare, uh, strange thing for rare, strange sound seekers. But what would you use it for? What do you What do you recommend? Uh, percussion sounds, FMing oscillators, filters, uh, just yeah. exploring sounds by itself. The cool thing to do is just record as many knob movements as you can, then run into a granular, run into a sampler, break it up into, into a Percussion hits. Yeah. Pretty much just experiment. Experimental musicians have been the main gravitators towards it. It's awesome as an FM source. I can, you know, oh, yeah. definitely confirm that. Now, what we have here is a patch where it's being used as a metallic percussion source, and you'll hear it clanging and whining in the background. It sounds really awesome. And I reach in and change the bias across the tube with the knob a little bit. One thing we to note is the CV input in there is coming from a chaos computer that is in a CV processor. So we have, uh, we do have an offset generated that's helping control the CV. So that's a useful, I found that kind of a useful thing with this module, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. All right, well thanks a lot, Brian. Anything else about this? Oh yeah, what's the price on this thing? 365. 365, completely handmade, beautiful through hole in construction with a lovely engraved panel. Thanks a lot, Brian. No problem. Did you like that? Yeah, that was, that'll work.